Now let's go ahead and we'll take our measurements. Using um, an inclometer or a diclometer measures an angle that I have to look up or down to see things. I say measure this angle right here as 30 degrees. I then walk forward 20 feet and I repeat the process. I get this new angle is 40. So what's this one? One forty. All right. So elementary angles, linear pair. So we're a step closer. Let's get one more quickly as a group before we try to figure out what uh, laws we're going to be using here. What's this angle up here got to be? Ten. Yeah, ten degrees. That's enough information to tell me this distance along here. We'll call it D for now. What trig fun which of the uh, two rules that we just talked about? Law of sines or law of cosines do you think works? Yes, sines. Sines? Let's see. Um, sine of let's say 140. Can we label our sides? Sure. Yeah, um, this is D Let's call this over here, uh, I don't know, A, we'll call this down along here, B for base. So sine of D, oh, sorry, sine of 140 over D, the side opposite it, it's going to be the sine of what? 10 degrees over 20 feet. Now I know how to solve that. We've been practicing it. What you're going to probably see in, in homework and story problems at this stage are problems that involve, uh, I give you the triangle and the angles, not so much the setup. But it's still, it's a good interim step. Now I can go ahead and, and work with this. Now, according to my calculator, the sine of 140 degrees is um, the same as 40 degrees. 140? Because this is a, it's inside the triangle we're working with. Yeah, which is going to actually be, by, by sheer fluke, I believe it's the same as sine is 40. So 0. 0.643. Can someone with a calculator double check me on that one? I'm rusty on my angles over 90. It works? Sweet. Sine of 10 degrees is 0. 0.174 over, and that's over 20. Well, let's see, cross multiply these guys. I can take 20 times 0.643. Puts me at 12.86. 0.174 times D, divide it, and I get my D Seventy-three point nine one feet. Now I can. St I still actually haven't found how tall a roller coaster is yet, but now I've got a right triangle that I could. I've got this right triangle right here that I can use. I've got thirty degrees. I've got the hypotenuse. I can find this over here using um, sine again, right? Sine of 30 degrees is the opposite, H, over the hypotenuse. So we'll call it 74 to keep the math easy right now. 74 feet. Yada, 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 like we've been practicing. And you're going to get H is equal to 35, 37 feet. Now this over here in the purple, that's the bonus stuff. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried, can you take this triangle with the 30 and the 140, the D and the 20 feet, and kick out D being 
and a lot of change round it to 74 feet. And then this will be like the extra, extra credit step to use that information to go ahead and get that height. This is actually how they do all the top of ground, how they do land surveying. When you see those guys out there with sextants measuring angles, they're figuring out how much it goes up or down as they move the devices forward and backward. And the further they move it, the more they move this, the more accurate the measurement of that height.